All right, everyone. So pre-draft testing, cognitive testing, that is, for the NFL, looks like it may be in some trouble. Um, multiple agencies are taking a stand against pre-draft cognitive testing. Um, this comes from N NBC Sports. In response to the news that Athletes First has notified teams that it has instructed its clients to refuse to submit to the S2 test and related evaluation techniques, Drew Rosenhaus of Rosenhaus Sports informs PFT that his firm has made a similar communication to all NFL franchises. We notified the teams approximately the same time that A1 did that our rookie clients wouldn't be taking those tests as well. Wow. So here's where a lot of this stems from, right? A lot of this stems from last season when you had C.J. Stroud, you know, it basically leaked out that he had the, maybe one of the, I think it was like the worst test of all time. And um, obviously, you know, Stroud goes on to have an amazing season, right? So he has this terrible test. It's being used to slander him all over the media. People are saying, oh, wow, that's, cr you know, it was just used to, as you know, really C.J. Stroud comes in. People are like, he's probably going to be pretty good. And then you get this test score, and now the media hype train is slandering him. And it turned out to be just ridiculous, right? C.J. Stroud, anybody that watched football this year saw, not only was he a talented quarterback, but he was a smart quarterback, right? He made a lot of smart plays. And when his team didn't have him, the team was far worse. So I do like this. I think, you know, it's, I think when you're drafting someone, you know, I do think there's something to be said about obviously reading defenses and all of those types of cognitive testing. Um, but the big thing should be the interview, not just what you see on tape, but when you have a one-on-one -on -one sit down interview, that kind of stuff should be where these decisions are made, right? Not some test or you see they're playing college and then you sit down and you, you can find out what type of person the guy is from that. So I think, you know, I, I understand that there has to be probably some form of cognitive testing that these teams want because you do you do want to see you know okay do do these guys know NFL um you know defenses do, can they read NFL defenses are they going to be able to handle quarterback at the NFL level but with that said i think clearly this test just isn't working and if you do continue to do this test they have to make sure that this is under lock and key meaning you can't be leaking this stuff out right and i don't know how any gm worth their salt will be tr trusting this going forward Right. I don't know how anybody going forward will trust these kind of test results if, you know, they, they give off such a wild inaccuracies. And, you know, maybe you look at things like the process. So what people when do they take the test? You know, do they know about the all of these things? Because I heard from a few interviews I watched that basically they're just told to go take this test, you know, and then they just go in and they, they don't really know. You know, it's while they're doing all this other stuff. So they're not necessarily prepared or any of that. Um, so maybe you could change that aspect of it. I, I don't know. But, you know, one thing is definitely clear. What happened to CJ Stroud was an absolute debacle. And they definitely need to make some changes. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.